Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. I wanted to share with you what I took on a day trip to the lake yesterday. So first of all, I did take both of these life jackets. They are just cheapies from Walmart. I did not use mine. My daughter did. If we keep um, going to water sport things, then I'll definitely invest in a better life jacket for sure for her. It's not the most comfortable or convenient, um, but they do the job for right now. So again, if we keep doing this, I'll definitely get better life jackets. Next, I had this tube, and we use this for sledding in the wintertime. We've used this in the river this summer and the lake yesterday. So we don't use it a ton, but it's nice to have. And I like it because I'm still able to blow it up myself. Um, the second family that was there yesterday had a really nice, huge one um, that you needed a pump for. And of course, they forgot the pump. So at least I was able to blow this one up and the kids could use it. I'll probably see if I can get a second one. It, it just would be more fun to have two of them instead of a bunch of kids taking turns with the one. So that was handy while we waited for the third family that was bringing their canoe boat and paddleboard. Next, I have this mesh bag, and I commandeered the bag from my brother. It's really handy. So this is like an air mattress thing and a tent and the frisbee and I didn't use any of those things so this whole thing stayed in the car but I have used um, these two things when we go to the sand dunes so I wanted to pack those just in case if we needed them for anything um, but that was handy to have just in case um, I did use this bag this is a Kanga Care wet bag um, Tokidoki space place print and so I keep swimsuits in here dry and then when they're wet, I put them back in here. It kind of contains all the wet and it's just reusable and it's cute. So I did um, have our swimsuits in there and then I ended up putting our swimsuits in the back of the truck to dry on the way home and that worked out great yesterday. Next, I have this Pro Packing Cube. And this I had completely packed. There's a couple towels in here right now, but I also had a huge beach towel and a blanket, a fleece blanket, and I did use those. So, um, and this is nice because it's got the handle, because when it's packed, you know, it's kind of slippery and it's hard to grab, but it's got the handle, so that makes it great um, to be able to grab it or carry it where I need. And so I did use a couple of things from there, and I also had extras just in case any of the other families needed any of that, and, and nobody did. So that was fantastic. Okay, now jube jube items. So this black and white is in the print Black Magic, and this is a jujube fuel cell. And it is used like kind of like a lunch bag, and um, I use it for lots of different things, and I love it because this hook is so handy to put it on and off of different things or handles. Um, but I did use it for food yesterday, so I had some... Um, of those ice pack things to keep food cold. I had a few of those, like three small ones. I had jerky, cheddar cheese, apples, apple sauce pouches, and granola bars, along with my EOS lip balm. So all that fit into there, and it was great. And then last but not least, I have my Jujube Wannabe, and it is fully packed. This is how I carried it from my car down to where we camped out next to the lake. Um, I just kind of, I did close it that way and then try to show you better at the end, but it's got backpack straps. So I did use those backpack straps and then I carried a couple things, the blankets in my hand along with the life jackets. So this um, has these straps here, and you can put a towel here or a blanket. I just kept the umbrella there. Glad I had it because we did get rained sprinkled on a couple of times, and it was really cold. So glad I had this to keep the rain off and the blankets to keep us warm. So the umbrella. Um, then in this slip pocket here in the front, I just had cheapy sunglasses. I don't know where they came from. They fit me. Apparently they were free because I don't remember where they came from. Um, and if they get lost or ruined, I don't care. Um, then this back pocket here, I had two of these water bottles. And then, see, it still has ice in it from yesterday. So I had two of these full of ice and water and then a third water bottle 
that once we drink the water out of here, then I could pour more water in because the ice doesn't melt. So you, you drink it all and you're like, oh, the ice will melt and I can still drink. No. Um, so it's nice to have that extra water bottle to pour more water in. And that was enough water for the two of us, more than enough. Um, so I had two of those bottles. And then here was another towel. It's got the strap. I just carried it in the bag like that though. Um, so it's got like a nylon material on the outside and like fleece on the other side. So that was nice and handy to have. Okay, the inside, the inside, I've got two hats, baseball hat and my sun hat. Didn't use either of those. Um, you guys have seen this before. This is my um, roomy, I don't know, it's like a carry-all bag or something. I had a change of clothes in here and we did use those change of clothes yesterday. Um, this is a grand trunk and... Um, it's just another like outdoor adventure blanket. It's really just nylon material, so not the greatest on its own, but it has spots to put the stakes to keep the blanket down. I want to get some stakes, and I've used this. I, um, it also has uh, pockets in the corners to like put sand in. So I've used it at the sand dunes, I've used it at beaches, and then I used it at the lake yesterday. Um, plus, look, it's a great size. And it's got this little handle, so that's great. Um, so I have been using that. Next, another Pro Packing Cube. Um, this is not their smallest size, I don't think. But I have a light jacket for myself and then a windbreaker for my daughter in there. I did use my jacket yesterday. Um, this is like a cooler section, and I didn't use that at all. Um, just because I used the fuel cell. Okay, um, lots of sunscreen. These are all like almost empty bottles. So I need to finish these up and then just get a bottle to finish up. Um, I've got um, peanut butter bites, mini sandwich crackers. Didn't touch those at all. Um, and then here in the side here, I've got this bottle rocket sippy something. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of hard, so I keep like crackers and things I don't want all mushed up. And I didn't use those either, just because that third family that showed up had enough food to feed an army. So we just ate their food instead. Um, over here on this side, I've got extra contacts and contact solution in case if something happened to my contacts yesterday, because I did wear my contacts yesterday. Um, this I had with detangler spray and the brush, um, just in case I need that for my daughter. Um, and then this other stuff, we didn't use that. Um, baby wipes and then face wipes. Those came in handy. I did use those. Tissues, didn't open that at all. Um, and then this is my first aid kit. Um, I think you've seen this before. Um, it's a little bulkier because I'm keeping pain meds in here right now as well. And we've traveled a lot. My daughter has. And so this has been handy. Um, we've used this quite a bit this summer, so that's all that and then I think that's everything I've got in this bag and then let me just show you the other side here So they've got these great length straps if you want to carry it like a tote But then also these backpack straps hook on and I don't take them off. I just leave it that way um, It's really handy so um, it was great because I did have it fully loaded the way you saw it with the backpack straps. Um, I had that on my back and then I had the blankets and the life jackets and the fuel cell in my hand. So I kind of looked like a pack horse, but um, it wasn't that far of a walk from my truck to where we camped out next to the lake. And it was a good day. It was a bummer when we were freezing, but then the sun would come out, we'd get really nice and warm and dry out, and then it would rain again. And we stayed there all day until really the bugs started to come out, and we didn't want to mess with that with the kids as well. So um, we left when the bugs started showing up, but it was a good day. And, you know, get out there, enjoy it. Maybe you don't need to pack as much as me, but... Um, you want to be comfortable as well. So have a good one. Thanks for checking it out.